previously in Project Online. We have witnessed how students were assigned assessments to measure how far they have learned. Recently, I assigned them to a broadcasting test. So, the purpose of the activity is to allow the students to be immersed Today, we will witness how these authentic assessments can be effective. Or ineffective. I know everyone is stressed. I don't want to ask stress. It's really stressing me out. Oh my gosh. In this novel virtual setup, this is Project Online Season Finale. Okay, let us pray. O most loving Father, we thank you for the day that we have gathered to glorify your holy name. We thank you for the gift of life, wisdom, and courage. Father, forgive us our sins and help us redirect our faith and live in a Christian way. Bless us, O Lord, as we take this new adventure. Amen. Amen. Again, good day, everyone. Amen. So, can anyone tell me? So, can anyone tell me what we tackled in the previous discussion? Um. Okay, Andy. Um. Hi, my name is Andy Moni. Um. Last meeting, we learned about the element of radio broadcasting and we passed the best um, essay of five sentences. Question: What is the importance of radio broadcasting in the Google Classroom? Yes, that is correct. And in relation to that, I would like to ask if you are ready with your presentation. Yes, ma'am. Live on air. This is AM Twenty Three Radio, always bringing you the five-minute update of blazing and trending news of the day. Good afternoon, this is Rigo Pena and you're tuning into 22.3 DCSY, your all-time radio station. DOH suspends dengue vaccination. Here's Rutina Renola for the report. Secretary Francisco Doque III has said that the Department of Health or DOH has postponed its dengue vaccination program yesterday. This program has been suspended after it was found out that vaccines can affect those people who have not experienced dengue before. Furthermore, Secretary Dake has also clarified there are no serious infections among those who receive the vaccine. This has been Rutina Renola for EM23 Radio, always bringing you the blazing and trending news of the day. I find that the time, though I was really nervous during the process, I am a bit in the broadcasting. I kept on thinking, what if I feel, what if I suffer during the presentation? But the thing is, the presentation ran for me. Everyone was enjoying it. When we come back, Ellen Adarna and Derek Ramsey just got engaged. Stay tuned. Sick and tired of your playing and wearing dress? Worry no more because the newest Milky has come to town. Introducing Zara Tea Milky, the most refreshing and tasty Milky with almost 15 flavors to choose from. So, what are you waiting for? Ditch the boring drink and get your own Zara Tea Milky. Order now by a drug food and food funder. And use code 666 for 10% off on your purchase. I am just so glad that the recording was over. It's because I still have duties and responsibilities at home to do. And you know what? My G classroom was bombarded with activities. And I don't know what to do first and what to do next. Right now, I just want everything to go smoothly and I don't want any problems to occur and conflict just like in the recording all I just just listen and agree with all their plans because I know everyone is stressed and I don't want to add stress in our performance. And now we're back. Ellen Adarna and Derek Ramsey just got engaged. How true is this? Yanti, tell us more. 
Ahmed Ardarna and Derek Ramsey are finally engaged. The happy news of engagement of these two stars came via post in Ellen's Instagram when she showed her beautiful and huge ring. Rumors about the two being a relationship started last January and was confirmed the next month. Since then, they have been very open about their relationship. Ellen was previously in a relationship with John Lloyd Cruz, who's the father of their son Elias, while Derek just got out of his one-year relationship with fellow actress Andrea Torres last November. Once again, this is Guillancy Perry, always bringing you the latest and hottest showbiz tea. One of my sentiments during the process of making this subject is her very strict and demanding leader. She wants everything to be perfect and she has a very high standard. She doesn't understand if some of our groupmates do have stable internet connection to the point that we have to film this project a lot of times just to be perfect. And she doesn't even understand our struggles if we are late during our group meetings and it's really stressing me out. Oh my gosh. The making of the outfit was very tiring in a lot of that. But um, in the end, we were able to make the script and then um, we were able to create an outfit that I think is worthy of good remarks from our teacher. That is all for today's news. Once again, this has been Gabriel Pena for 22.3 DCSY, EM23 Radio, your all-time radio station. Always bringing you the five-minute update of the lazy and trending news of the day. Hi, I am Teacher Kat. I use authentic materials in my class. Recently, I assigned them to a broadcasting test. They can choose whether it's a radio broadcasting or a television broadcasting. I find authentic materials helpful in my class, really. Not only it gives you a tangible output, but also you can see that they are having fun while doing that activity. Also, the activities allows us teachers to see their creative side. Definitely, you can see a part of them which you cannot see on a paper pen assessment. I am very happy with my students' output because you can really see that they are trying their best in achieving that output. And I encourage teachers to use authentic materials too because it will effectively help you achieve your lesson objectives and can enhance the teaching learning process. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Yes, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, class, it seems we can only cover one group for today. See you tomorrow, and please do not forget to upload your output in the Google Drive, as this will serve as your portfolio. And add me as an editor. I'll ping my email added in the chat box. Goodbye, class! Have a good day! Thanks! All right, let's get a move on since we're already lacking time. Start where we left off, just choose a line to analyze. Yes, ma'am. By juxtaposing the grandeur of Ozymandias and the Vasans, the poem talks about the impermanence of power and that eventually everything crumbles and that nothing can withstand to time. That's all, Mom. Kat, thank you. Back when the pandemic has not struck, I would often walk home from school. So my creative writing process starts with the things that I see on my walks. For example, I might see a pretty lady waiting for a public transportation or the cars waiting around the traffic made in their own lights. That scenery always inspires me to write on something as I reach my own desk. So all in all, I can say that my creative writing process really is reliant on the things I see and experience as I walk from the school to my home. Oh, 
I stopped. Part of broke and the process left behind when forms were open. The poetry forms I use is acrostic font, which I use to let it begin. And you can see it with my first stanza. I use how, for land, and favors, which I made it without battery. That's all me. I don't know how exactly how to put into words, but I feel like I have this weird habits of mind that I need to copy from the dialogue, from the movie or the drama I watch because I feel like I have something to make out of those. And as I help organize my thoughts, I try to look back from the thoughts, from those copy dialogue because I feel like it's a puzzle or a string that I need to be tied up. And for sometimes I feel like it is where I get my title or inspiration. And these weird habits of mine, I feel like, or whatever you call it, I feel like I'm happy to play with this word. This poem is entitled The Ship. So the first line, at first stanza goes, As you sail across the open sea, consumed in a dry winter flea, return home as you ever could, only word heart could understood. So basically this poem, it, follows a traditional rhyme scheme pattern and it has repetition at the at the every beginning of the stanza. I remember my first poem when I was in elementary and it was so daunting but now I learned how to write a poem through my own method which is great. As stands for a situation, I think of any situation, place, feeling that I can anchor my poem to and out of that situation I create a concept and then um, I do research for that. Next step would be associating symbols, images that is related to my concept. And then I start to pen my poem. I write down my thoughts. And then the last one is editing. That's all for the presentation, ma'am. So the purpose of the activity is to allow the students to be immersed in the real or actual process of writing like how will they learn how to write well if we as teachers do not give them the opportunities to write right and yeah that's what i did and at first i really did not think that they can give me such excellent outputs like it was still our second time writing and man i was wrong teachers should really expect great things from their students because based on my experience they have skills and creativity on their own which are very unique and i am so impressed i am so so proud of them and pbas are really great in optimizing the potentials of our students let's end it here very comprehensive outputs everyone the next activity is already posted in the Google Classroom. That would be all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Thank you. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Thank you. Oh, man. Miss class again. Ah. So sorry because it's the class is already over. Bye, Panuncha. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Bye. Bye. Knowing there are a lot of things that don't spend time, such as my family, the expenses that you can pay, because my mom is a new one, and my sister is right now, my job, and my rest of the days. I often get to open up a lot of dress, so I need to have one for easy to buy my own things, and then I'm done. It is hard for me to but I'm always trying just to finish this and help myself whatever we have to do in the future. Assessments can be effective or not effective. So what I think. Thank you for watching. Until next, this is Project Online Season Finale.